Hello everyone. Nafik Siddiqui will teach you today how to make pivot table in Excel. It's very simple. The use of pivot table is that it will give you a summary of your data or you know the main you know the essence of it. So uh, we have this data, a very small one. So you can go to insert and you click on pivot table. So it automatically you see selects the data. If it does not, you click here and you select your you know data range manually and click here. So uh, the pivot table will appear on a new worksheet. Yes, I agree. And you click OK. So here you can see the different variables that you have. The code, CD, profession, average age up here. Uh, you what? You, now it's your choice to you know put them in rows or columns or in the values section. So I want the CD uh, variable to be in rows and the average age. Okay, so the values on which the pivot table will be based is average age. So I put average age in values. As you can see here, it is giving you this pivot table that uh, if you you know sum the average ages of each city, you will get this. For example, in Koita city, the sum of average age is 65. Okay, so uh, if you want to change the field value settings, uh, for example, instead of sum, you want the counts or average or anything else. So you double click either here, cancel, or you can either click here and go to value field settings. So uh, here, as you can see, there are many options. You can find the count, average, maximum, minimum product, or anything. So instead of sum, I want the count. So I click on this count and press OK. So now you can see that, let's suppose from Karachi, uh, the count of average ages is 3. Like, so uh, let's do one more thing. For example, uh, we want this data to be more, you know, uh, like to have more information. So we put this profession variable and we put here in draws. So now you can see that in Dadu city there are two number of you know counts like there are two average ages according to the professions. So what are the professions these two? One is businessman and one is professional. So you can move on I suppose Karachi has you know three uh, you can say professions, three, uh, one is engineer, one is professional, and one is a student. So, uh, you can see here that there is a grand total here of all these values. So, if you don't want this grand total to, to be uh, appear, you go to this design tab and click on this grand total and you select this off for rows and columns so you don't need it either for columns and for rows so now there is no grand total so if you want you can have it you know on for rows and columns okay and there is also subtotals or oh, if you don't want the subtotals you click on do not show it so the totals which are appearing here one plus one two is disappeared now but we need it so we go here show all the products at bottom of group. So at bottom means it's showing you what the total of Dadu City is to. Okay, so you can you know play with it as you want. Okay, there is one more option report filter. So what we can do is let's suppose let's put this zip code in report filter. So it you know appears here. If you click on this down arrow you will see different zip codes you know, which belong to cities. So I just want the data, the information of this table, you know, uh, of this zip code only, 5494, and press OK. So this zip code, you know, belongs to Koita city. So now it's showing you only the information of Koita. What if I want, you know, uh, more than one city information? So you click here on select multiple items, and you select more than one, for example, this, 
this and the last one 8 to 5 so you press ok and now you can see that you have the information from Islamabad, Peshawar and Quetta. So, um, um, this is all for today. You just need to, you know, do practice and learn. Thank you so much. Let me know if you have any queries.